Okay, so for our fun for today, we always do things big and supersized. It's the Stewart family way. We go big or we go home. So this afternoon, I am doing our family budget. Well, actually first, I'm doing my business budget. Based on my business budget is what I'm actually paying myself for the month of March. So then I'm doing my family budget. And then my husband and I, in the middle of me doing the budgets, have already had two budget meetings where we've gone over numbers. And then we're going to um, all load into the van as a family and do a bank run because we do our budget largely on a cash-based system. We're big Dave Ramsey fans. And so I'm writing checks and pulling out cash. And then we're going to do our large once a month grocery shopping trip where as a family we hit a local store called Sharp Shopper. We also hit Costco, uh, we'll probably hit the Dollar Tree and also Walmart. We just go to any store where we can possibly buy in bulk and stock up ahead of time as much as possible for the upcoming month. This is really helpful for us because we have a lot of the items that we need on hand at home. I can go ahead and buy the 25 pound bag of oatmeal. Um, actually this month we don't need oatmeal, we need rice. So I'm going to get the large bag of rice, uh, we'll get a lot of our milk for the month, we'll get butter, well you'll see, I'm going to take you along and we're going to get March taken care of. As you can see, we have, I have a giant bag of trash behind me that's real classy. That's country living because we have to take our own trash if you can imagine. Um, and we are out of things now like we're out of trash bags, we're out of our Swiffer mop heads, we're out of, we're just out of all the staples. We're almost out of toilet paper again. Someone ate the last yogurt this morning. So whenever we get towards the end of the month we can always tell that our big grocery shopping day is coming up. I used to uh, it seems like a million years ago, but a few years ago before I officially had teenagers, I could, um, I could do grocery shopping for the whole month and just work my system well and not have to go back into a store. And of course now we have a 14 year old who is over 6 foot tall and we have an 11 year old who's going to be 12 and he's taller than me already and you know the boys have hollow legs. And we have 7 children total. Um, of course, baby Daniel is exclusively breastfeeding, but everybody else eats. And since my husband is home full time and I work from home, we eat all of our meals at home. So we probably will have to do one, if not two, quick little trips after church into Costco or Walmart at some point during the month of March. Another thing we have going on in March is we have at least a week, um, a week total within the month where we have kids and family members going in different directions. I have um, a speaking engagement at the Teach Them Diligently convention in Nashville and I have some kids coming with me there and some kids go in another direction. So we have a week this month where we're not going to be eating at home uh, but we'll be eating on the road and have additional expenses with that. So <laughs> Uh, okay. Liam, Liam threw his helicopter, it was an accident, it hit Gabriel, Gabriel in the head, and you'll probably see a whole lot of that today while all nine of us shop. Woo! Okay, so we're standing out front of Sharp Shopper. This has been my favorite grocery outlet store for a good 10 years. Here we're usually able to find things like four for a dollar Yo Play yogurts. Um, sometimes we can get name brand bags of bagels, two for a dollar, and things along those lines. So we're going to go in and see what kind of deals they have today. Okay, so they have some icings here. Betty Crocker icing, three for a dollar, and also several bags of cookie mix, three for a dollar. Uh, this is not items I would normally buy at another store, but at this price, the kids can make some cookies. <laughs> Certainly thanks for 99 cents. The kids can have a treat. Okay, I can usually get some of my Trim Healthy Mama stuff here too. Like they have milled flax. That's in a lot of recipes. I use that for the muffin and the mug. It's $1.39 a pound here. So I can pick this up for under $2 and make a lot of muffins with it. 
we can also get 25 pound bags of brown rice for under $16. Sharp Shopper, I got out of there for about $129. We got lots of good deals on name brand yogurts, $1.49 for a box of eight. Much more than that anywhere else. Um, these whole grain rolls, uh, they're made with flax seed, bags of them, two for a dollar. I load up on those. I got a nice thing of banana nut muffins. This would be for $2.99. This would be for like a Sunday morning before church. That would be something easy for me. Um, this whole cart is just full of a ton of yogurt. I've also got big bag of rice, some cheap little Elmo themed cereal for the kids just to eat little snack things. And then we got cookie things for homeschool group. Um, at Sharp Shopper, I can find some specialty items for Trim Healthy Mama, like the, the milled flax that I showed you. Uh, sometimes I get Greek yogurt. I got some Greek yogurt there today. Sometimes they have sugar-free almond milk. Not always though, it's hit or miss. So today I ended up getting snacky things for the kids, cookie making things for homeschool group, and a ton of yogurt, a few steaks. Okay, here we are. This is how much we have in our back of our van so far after Sharp Shopper. But by the end of the day, we'll be loaded to the roof. We go through lots of broccoli. One more and it's four. <laughs> One more and it's four. Maybe. One more and it's four. Hi. Hi, Gaby. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us something about shopping with a big family, Naomi. Um, we're good for business. We're good for business. We. This is true. What's it like shopping with so many people, Gaby? Um. Like a big crowd. It's a big crowd everywhere we go, huh? Yeah, probably like a big crowd. Yeah. So we just had to send Jaden off to get us another cart just to fit our milk. He's right behind us. Is he? Yeah. Okay. So, milkman. <laughs> so I guess uh, 10 gallons or so this go around? Okay. Naomi, go help him load up. How many milk? This, um... Brother, sister, teamwork, can it be done? So we can make chocolate milk. That's right. Woohoo! Priorities. I'm in America, I'm right by fifth, but I choose the big snow you know, chocolate milk. Do we need to get another one of those? Oh, with the, the chocolate milk mix? Yeah, the we'll big. Get some. They're that's, big, enormous. That's a fun treat, isn't it? Yeah, there's lots of chocolate milk in it, right? That's right. Costco. All right, so we just finished up in Costco and got our nice list here. We spent about let's see six hundred six hundred fifteen dollars eighty seven cents. You can see we have two loaded carts, a lot of things that we only um, had to buy this time. We won't need to come back out for this month. This is our one big, huge Costco trip for the month. So we just hit the Dollar Tree and we obviously made it there when there was still some bread left after the bread truck came. They have had nature's own bread. I got a lot of wheat bread and 
um, I think, let's see, this is honey wheat. So I got whole wheat and honey wheat. It was a, just a dollar a loaf. Um, I got, I believe, 21 loaves. And I will just pile this into one of the freezers. And if we get making um, a lot of big breakfast and have meat and sandwich lunch, obviously we can go through a loaf of a meal. So we'll definitely use all of this bread throughout the next month. And I still have some in the freezers. So we have lots of helpers so bringing stuff in. Like yes, food. yes, baby, yes. I stopped for a bit of fire. Oh, and Liam's mouth is full of banana nut muffin. <laughs> so we can't hear him. But oh. this is some of our loot. So, so, oh, yeah, so strawberries are opening up. We'll get those closed. Yeah. Um, I'm dancing with the girl. I'm dancing with the girl. <laughs> That's a silly mommy. I can't win inside. Yes, honey, it's okay. All right, something I have been asked for often is a refrigerator tour. So we're going to take one. This is our main refrigerator in our kitchen. And we just got done from our massive grocery shopping trip. <clears throat> and so, this is the refrigerator that I feed the family out of daily. And as items run out of this main refrigerator, and obviously some people could cringe, but I just jam things in here. As items run out of this refrigerator, I refill it from my two backup refrigerators. This refrigerator, besides having little poetry magnets down there, also has a freezer at the bottom. And so, again, my trim healthy mama, mamas can see I've got baby bell cheeses and lots of berries, strawberries, and some turkey. I have milled flax up here, and then, oh, evil of evils, someone in our house has a soda as a treat. Um, I have egg whites for me, and what else Trim Healthy Mama specific? I have all my Laughing Cow cheeses up here. These are the noodles I was stuttering around about earlier. It's called Pasta Zero, and it's actually the, um, the noodles based on the konjac root. It's zero calories. Now with these, you do if you use these for... Uh, it says low calorie, low carb pasta. These really need to be rinsed first. There's kind of a fishy smell. So if you rinse them and then boil them, they w it works out pretty well if you're trying to fake yourself out like I do and pretend like you're eating a noodle. So you can see down here we have a yogurt drawer and a large variety of yogurts. Of course, all these yogurts that come with the little candies with six kids, these are going to be very popular for the next week and then they'll be gone. Uh, we have lots of fresh fruit. Um, in the drawers, of course, you see avocados, mushrooms, peppers. So we're just a very normal family trying to eat healthier and healthier as we go. And I'm sure food Nazis can still find a lot of things wrong in my refrigerator. But be nice, because remember, I'm being nice giving you a tour. So again, this is my main fridge and let's go see another. I forgot, you might want to see in this freezer. So, this freezer, not super big, but I do have some of the 10 pound bags of chicken and broccoli, some freezer meals at the bottom there. And I recently cleaned this out. So, oh, daddy and the kids ice cream, mommy can just drool over it, and some meatballs, strawberries, a little bit of Ezekiel bread. I forgot to get that today. I needed a few more loaves of that. Okay, and this is our third full refrigerator and then our full freezer that I got at my neighbor's yard sale um, this fall. I'm trying to remember, I believe I paid $100 for the fridge and then $50 for the freezer. So this is what I call one of my backup refrigerators and just extra milk that can't fit in my laundry room refrigerator goes in here. You can see we have extra butter for the family. I've got my Trim Healthy Mama approved kale. Woohoo! Um, We've got seven and a half dozen eggs, some more strawberries, apples, a whole lot of cheese. Now at our local Sharp Shopper, and I know that's not a national store, but it's just one of the reasons why I don't coupon, because I get 
so many good deals there. Here is a blended Colby cheese that I got for $2.29 a pound. Yes. So I spent less than $15 uh, for over six pounds of Colby cheese. That is awesome. Uh, also got lots of spicy cheese sticks and things there today. Again, that store is really hit and miss, but I have always been blessed there. Um, Oh, in the door, yes, some Pedialyte, more Greek yogurt. I have a fear of running out of Greek yogurt. And then I drink, I use this uh, sweet Italian cream, sugar cream, coffee creamer in my coffee in the morning whenever I'm not doing. And then in this small freezer, you can see we've stuffed a bunch of bread up there. Pretty much this whole freezer is full of bread right now. And then my full freezer here. Ho, 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 ho. Of course, a lot more bread. Um, a few more of my freezer meals poking out from last month's freezer cooking. More bread, more bread, all the way down. And looks like maybe an ice cream spill. But this is currently what is in my full freezer. It's obviously an older model, but for $50, the thing still works. Oh, and I'm going to show you a super classy detail about this freezer here something that my neighbor did. Of course we've got some duct tape so that's always a sign of class. And then if I can do it with one hand, I've got this nifty screw and a little lock to hold it shut and some duct tape on the door. But then again the thing is a full freezer and it works so that's what matters. Now we're gonna go back and look at my freezer in the laundry room. Okay so back in our laundry room slash bathroom slash extra fridge room and my goodness, we've probably had this refrigerator. We bought it brand new. Oh my, at least 15 years ago. So, oh, some more of that turkey that I got for a dollar a pound. And, oh, there's a real turkey I got there for, I think, 28 cents a pound at Thanksgiving. So, I can tell, I think Naomi had this, refri this freezer to unload food into. But she got stuff in there. It's doing well. And... For you ladies from when I had the baby, whoops, lost our light. Homemade padsicles. Woohoo. Okay, and then down here, usually this freezer is jam packed also, but since I'm really only planning for three weeks of meals at home, let's see, we've got some overflow, seven and a half more dozen eggs, some more yogurt, Greek yogurt, my almond milk. I think I only got 10 gallons of skim milk and Daddy will be going back out to the store for some more milk probably in about a week and a half and then more more yogurt in the bottom. So, yep, that's it. So this will be the refrigerator whenever I make a large meal and if we have leftovers that need to be stored to the next day since I have some room apparently this month in this bad boy we can bring it back here to these shelves. All right, so we are mostly done for our groceries for the month of March. Um, another question that I get is, what do you do about fresh produce? And of course we have pears. They're gonna last a couple weeks. I mean, we're only talking, you know, three weeks or so here that things need to pull through. So we've got pears, those will do well, and those, go, those will go quick. Um, these are oranges from last month. Well, I didn't buy any this month because I knew we still had some more to finish up. Obviously the berries, again my Trim Healthy Mama, Mamas, these berries are going to go quick and this will be something I'll have to refill on the berries. But pears, oranges, apples, um, those items last longer. And whenever I'm doing lots of things with lettuce, romaine lettuce tends to last longer. Avocados do well. I'm going to use up my mushrooms here fairly quickly. And celery and carrots they do well long term also uh, so so be sure to let me know in the comments how your grocery shopping trips go if you do anything wild and crazy like try to get most of it at one time um, if you're still a, if you're a mama who likes to go every week or if you shop bi-weekly or if you shop every three weeks I'd be really interested to hear about what your family system is um, the reason that I do one massive trip, I have a couple reasons. One is I like to have everything on hand that I need. Whenever I have to go weekly, uh, it doesn't work so well because number one, we're rural and our local grocery store in town is just 
it's not that good. So we have we drive. I clocked the miles the other day. I did it on my phone, and it was about 30, 39 miles each way uh, to get to all the little grocery stores, which is not a huge deal. It's just something that necessarily every week I don't want to have to go and load up. Best for me to do it this way. So again, let me know in the comments what your family grocery system is. Also, let me know anything, any questions you have or anything else you'd like to see a video on, especially about our groceries because there are nine of us and food is, you know, food, babies, homeschooling, family life. We live it, so let me know what you'd like to hear about. Thanks.